What could possibly be a breakthrough concept, the integration of green technology, particularly solar potential, could provide improved access to sustainable energy-run services to the people and businesses of Papua New Guinea. Having been introduced to the green innovation, Mr. Maxton Graham believes that the energy system with a tree-tired approach promotes efficiency and renewable energy, maximizes access to energy, all the while promotes the energy sector forum, capacity building and effective governance. And Starit Green promotes this concept through its innovations. The potential that I see in the future is big. We never turned down any project in Philippines example. Just recently we signed a contract with the government. They are going to change the old jeepneys to the new ones. And we're talking about 600,000 just in Manila. My vision is everybody goes green. And we don't destroy this world. We don't cut trees. We don't take oil from the ground. We just don't touch that earth. We are guests over here. And he could see that you know this application will help his own people. And he realized the potential for uh, rural Papua New Guineans to benefit from this technology. Apart from, you know, the buses and small cars and small trucks or, you know, transport system to move cargo and people around, it's very cheap, it's so cheap. And the biggest cost is the fuel cost is removed totally. The, the solar is free. Ah, you don't have to pay for solar. It's, I think Papua New Guineans will be so happy when this uh, technology is rolled out in Papua New Guinea. And now it's up to the government to, you know, those who are interested. It's not going to rely on the government. They are private sector people and they will come in, assess the markets and establish their business and roll it out. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, local governments and using PNG's advantage of land mass and geographical location can dramatically reduce carbon footprint by purchasing or directly generating electricity from clean renewable power technologies like solar, wind, biogas, geothermal as well as emerging technologies like wave and tidal power. This technology is here. It will be coming to Papua New Guinea very soon. And you know, maritime provinces, I, I always feel sad for people traveling in banana boats, travel long distance, the cost of fuel really kills them. And with this technology, they also have outboard motors and inboard motors. I mean, there's some, if you see on the video, they've got solar powered boats traveling everywhere now and there's no fuel cost. So it, it makes a lot of sense. So it puts the money back into the rural people's pockets, you know? They're so far away, so remote, they don't have to you know, pay so much for transport anymore. It's gone. In pushing for the renewable innovation widely and forward into the foreseeable future, this concept was a widely conversed agenda during the last year's APEC summit in Port Mosby. Stated during the APEC meet, then PNG's Foreign Affairs Minister Rimbing Pato said the renewable energy is the way forward for PNG and the Pacific, adding that Papua New Guinea will be pursuing solutions and approaches that address the impacts of climate change in the Pacific region. Furthermore, then Prime Minister Peter O'Neill signed the Papua New Guinea Electrification Partnership with Australia, Japan, the United States and New Zealand, whose aim is to provide power to 70% of the country's population by 2030. Currently, only 13% of PNG's population has reliable access to electricity. The question now lies with how technology innovation can impact and improve the lives of rural Papua New Guineans with regards to major sectors like agriculture, transport and obviously affordability. People are already buying solar to put solar in their houses. So it's not new to us. Now it's, the applications are all about transport. The cost of running it is very low, much cheaper than a coastal bus. So there you go. We can't stop it. Green technology solar power transport technology is taking over i can see a very huge opportunity especially for the electric vehicle solar is the best source of energy because uh, first of all it's a free energy and also it's a zero carbon emission 
and also the, the system itself, it can last over 25 years without a lot of maintenance costs. To date, not much has been done about how to combat climate change in the region. Papua New Guinea being the leading nation in the Pacific has the responsibility to lead as a role model in preserving and protecting the environment. Climate change is an event that is affecting the whole world and PNG needs to be proactive in the fight against this global issue.